Praise the Lord, everyone. God is good. Amen. Welcome to Signing the Word. I love the Word of God. All right, so today's title is Fight on Your Knees. You gotta fight because life is not easy. The world is dark and it's against all the people. The devil does not want to see you win. The devil does not want to see you bow to the only God, the only Savior. He's against that. So when we go through this life, it's not easy. We have to fight on our knees. We have to fight in prayer, praise God. Romans chapter 15 and verse 30. And Paul is writing here, and when we look at the life of Paul, we realize it's not struggle. He or not easy. He went through a lot of struggles. But he had patience. And he knew that we did not fight against flesh and blood, but by the principalities and the evil of the devil. And we see that he says, now I beseech you, meaning beg. So again, beseech means to beg. He says, now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake. So he's meaning, not for my sake or for others, but for Jesus Christ's sake, I beseech ye, and for the love of the Spirit. There's only one God, only one Spirit that is full of love. We can't compare God's love. The world, you know, tries to tell us that there's love in it, but it's full of darkness and evil. This is why we have to worship on our knees and fight our battles. So here again, Paul is beseeching the, his brothers and sisters, saying, For the Lord Jesus Christ's sake, and for the love of the Spirit, that ye strive together. We are the body of Christ. We are family. There's one mind and one accord. We are the children of God. Again, we're, we're the opposite of the world. The world wants to destroy anything good. So just strive together with me in your prayers. Again, we're talking about here praying on your knees and you could be lying or standing that's as well that could happen as well but the important part is in prayer to God for me same as today I need your prayers and you need my prayers we're in one accord and together we're stronger than we can't be divided the devil wants to cause division and we can see that in our world today but they're against each other. But we serve a God who has made all life equal and precious. And just the same as, as Paul went through trials and, and Jesus had trials as well, they supported each other and we support each other nowadays. And if anyone comes against you or, or mocks you, you have to pray for them. 
Because we know, again, we don't fight that flesh and blood, but we fight those evil spirits of the world. There's no love compared to God's. Praise God. All right. It says fight all your battles on your knees. In prayer, we all have and face different battles. And to, to win, we need God. And through that prayer, his help comes. And that helps us overcome the spirits of the world that are against us. Again, if we try to fight in the flesh and blood, we will not be successful. We must have his spirit to help us. Praise God. So again, when we pray, God sends his angels to protect us against the evils of the world. And here in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, this is in the Old Testament, it's still good. It says, if, if, that depends on us. It says, if my, my people, I mean, those who follow God, he's saying, if my people, or which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. So again, we see that the dark world refuses to humble. They resist. They have pride. They don't want to be humble. They miss out on that mercy and that love. But when we follow God, we, we learn how to be humble. So he says, shall humble themselves. And pray. First, we must humble ourselves. Then we pray. In order to pray and have true prayer, you must humble yourself first and seek my face. If you have that pride in your life and refuse to search the way of God, then you're not going to have that true prayer. So humble yourselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. There's a lot of different wicked ways that destroy our love and our forgiveness and mercy, and it causes hate. We don't want to have that. That's part of that dark world. We need the light. And it says, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin. That shows love. That shows mercy and grace. That he's willing to forgive all of our sin. No one's perfect. We don't always do right. We make mistakes. But we have to humble ourselves and pray and seek his face and put away the old things and believe on his name, the only Savior. Praise God. <laughs> It says, and I will heal their land. He will bless your finances. He will bless your health. He will bless your home. Bless your family. And the list goes on. If you obey and follow, you'll be successful. Praise God. So 
So in Ephesians chapter 6, 10 through 18, it talks about the whole armor of God. And that's important to have the whole armor of God. And Paul at the time could see the Roman soldiers. And he applied it to the faith. You can see the shield, the sword, the belt, the shoes. And you can't miss any of it. Oh, let's go back here. So I want you guys to read Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. And it covers every piece of armor that you need. So even the world has their own armor, but how are we more powerful? With prayer. It says praying always, meaning all the time, not part of the time, but always. With all prayer, and supplication, in the spirit. When you begin to, when you begin to pray, you know you say, "I need, I need to overcome, or I need this and this," and God begins to give you what you need to overcome that. And with God, we have the power to overcome the world, and victory will happen. Praise God. And it says, and watching thereunto with all perseverance. Meaning you don't stop. You continue in supplication for all saints. Meaning in that battle, you see the two armies. Then there's one that never gives up. They have that perseverance, that support of each other. And when we fight for God, and when we fight together, we have that per perseverance to have victory. We must have that unity, praise God. And that's my favorite word right there, all. You can see in the map, in my past vlogs, I always emphasize the word all. All the world, all life is precious and made by him. Praise God. And the word saints here mean holy and separated. We're separated from that dark, that filth. We don't hold on to that. We turn to God and we, we cleanse ourselves. He is there. He is good. And he is enough. When we begin to pray, he's there. Anytime. We know that the world is not good, but we have to go through those battles. We, might, we battle in our minds, but we have to decide for ourselves to follow the good because God is always good and he is enough. The world doesn't provide and doesn't satisfy. It's just full of sins and, and filth and that will never satisfy. It's, it's just a temporary satisfaction for the flesh. But we are strong and satisfied in the spirit. God bless.